everybody, Andrea Majewski here. Let's talk about the Quality Assurance Written Assessment Exam and how I can help you guys. So in Ontario, if you are a dental hygienist and you've been audited, you have the choice to either submit your portfolio or you can take the Quality Assurance Written Exam. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Quality Assurance Written Exam, how it works, how much time do you have, and at the very end, how I can help you. So if you guys look in the description of this video, I have a, um, a course link for you. So I do offer full quality assurance prep courses for this exam. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. I tell you exactly what to study so you can pass this exam. But let me talk about it a little bit first. So basically you have from September 1st, until January 31st to take your quality assurance exam. So you cannot take it before September. You find out at the beginning of the year if you've been audited, but you have time to think, do you want to submit your portfolio or do you, or do you want to take the exam? There is a fee to take the exam. There is not a fee to do the portfolio. The portfolio takes a lot of organization. I do offer a course to help with that too. If you've decided to take the portfolio, I'll leave that in the description box down below. Um, but taking the exam, obviously you're taking an exam and not a lot of people like to take exams. It's kind of stressful, but you don't have to pay for it. And it's another option they like to give you, but you cannot take the exam before September 1st. So that's just kind of why I have this kind of highlighted for you guys. Once you make your choice. So once you log into your smile portal, portal here guys I can zoom in sorry your smile portal once you log into that and you select your path so either the quality assurance exam or the portfolio and then you click I'm all done you cannot change that so please keep that in mind so the CDHO suggests taking 75, um, 75 hours to actually study for it. I think they say that because to do the portfolio, you need 75 hours over three years for your quality, um, um, sorry, your continuing education. So that's what you need to pass your portfolio. So I think that's why they say the 75 hours. It's really hard to say how RDHs study for this exam. Some might say it took them 10 hours. Some might say it took them 100 hours everybody's different. I do offer that full quality assurance prep course. I've had dental hygienists tell me that them studying for that course took about 30 to 60 hours. So it really does depend, but I offer all of that for you. So you don't have to worry. So the rest, this is just saying is how they came up with the questions. Um, it's not like the board exam. There, those questions you don't have to study as if you were taking the board exam. Obviously, the board exam has a lot more questions. So this is in a way easier, but you still have to study for it. I have had dental hygienists tell me or come to me after they have failed their quality assurance exam and then say, I failed the first time, I need to pass the second time, I didn't study, can you help me? So you don't want to go through that stress just study the first time. So how many questions is it? They mentioned that a little bit here. The test is 100 questions, multiple choice. It is open book, but don't rely on the open book. Every dental hygienist has told me they felt they had to do the test so fast because there's 100 questions and it's about a minute per question. So that's not a lot of time. So if you're just relying on that open book of yours, you're not going to pass. Trust me, you do have two and a half hours to complete the quality assurance test. Dental hygienists have told me that it's taken them two hours. So um, even after I have prepped them, they've taken the um, course with me. I find on average, dental hygienists tell me it took them about two hours. Um, some say it took them the full two and a half hours, but just because they were so nervous. Um, so what type of questions are on the exam? They say dental hygiene theory and practice is about 20 to 30%. Application 45 to 55%, critical thinking 20 to 30%. So you're probably thinking, huh? What does all of that mean? What topics are on there? Let me help you. So let me move down below here. So they really do break it down for you, which is fantastic. So community health, emergency protocols, health and safety, WIMIS, infection um, prevention and control, pharmacology, process of care, professionalism, 
radiography, special needs, and ethics. So all of these topics you will see once you log into your course. So I'll leave the course link for you guys down below. I make it very easy for you. I, sh I shouldn't say very easy. You still have to study. It's not easy topics to study for, but I give you the information. So you don't have to open up your 800,000 page textbook and try to study that way. You're not gonna know what to study. You're not gonna know how to study. So let me help you. I have taken that 800,000 page textbook and brought it all into my course. I have used several textbooks. I have used comments from past hygienists who have taken the quality assurance exam. So I can help you guys really prepare in the best way possible. If you don't know much about me yet, I have been a dental hygiene tutor. So I tutor dental hygiene students past the board exam for the last 16 years. So I've been teaching dental hygiene. I am a consultant to help dental hygienists start their own business. I'm a mobile um, restorative dental hygienist myself. I've been working for probably about 16 years. So a long time since I was 19. So, well, that's a long time. <laughs> so you guys, I can help you and I want you to pass. Okay. So I go through all of this with you. How do you prepare? This is how the CDHO suggests you prepare. Instead, I suggest taking my course. I have all of this inside the course for you, but in easier modules to really study. Of course, Look at all of these two, have these open, have these things saved to your computer. I can help you with that. I have links to all of that for you inside the course. Now, I'm glad they had mentioned this because this is a very common question is, are they going to ask questions on local anesthetic? So in Ontario, we cannot give local anesthetic. Um, I live in St. Thomas, um, Ontario. I can't administer local anesthetic, but they do ask some questions. So I help you with that. Don't you worry. They just basically say no cheating here, obviously. Um, but I have this inside your course as well. They do offer some practice questions for you. So you have an idea what might be on the exam. I do have a free um, practice test for you as well. I can leave the link. Oh, sorry, guys. I kind of hurt my tooth there. I have no idea how. <laughs> Anyways, I will leave the link for the practice test for you guys as well on the bottom. Definitely check it out. Um, and I can leave actually the link for this too. If you want to check it out, I'm copying it right now. You can take these questions, do the answers, all of that fun stuff. Now, you guys let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. The course is on sale. Depending on when you're watching the video, in September, it does go up to full price again. I do that to offer a great incentive for you guys who want to sign up early and get started studying early. You have full access to the entire prep course until you pass your quality assurance exam. So don't worry if for some reason you don't pass, you have full access until you do pass, but you will pass. I'm here to help you guys, okay? Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you very soon and have a great Monday, depending on when you're watching the video. It's Monday today. So have a good Monday and please click like to this video if you haven't already. That does truly help my channel. Thank you, everybody. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.